This is the unit I changed earlier on there. I've got a small thing me. This is the, the box I changed the other day. Now, the ATX box. I've just been looking on eBay and there's a guy up there who reckons by running on less voltage and, and, and a constant he amps, he produces more gas for less heat but I'm just going to show you a problem with that as far as I see right now I'm on the yellow in the ATX box which is my 12 volts and it's running approximately 10 amps so I'm going to throw the switch and you can see for yourself the production and you can see it pumping up here in the measure right now it's, it's no a fantastic production it's just a, a, a bit of a mix in there and it's producing about 250 litres in 50 seconds or so but you can see it's a you know it's, it's actually producing and you can see it coming through the two bubblers here now that's the yellow wires with the ATX box and it's 12 volts and 10 amps I'm going to wire it up now to the the red which is plus 5 volts but 30 amps and I'll let you see that so there we are it's a bit of a rough connection so that's plus 5 volts at 30 amps now there's the switch on you can see for yourself it's, it's, it's a worldly difference Absolute world of difference. I'll just drop this here. World of difference. Now that's 30 amps, 5 volts. The guy's right up, reckons he's running his about 4 volts, you know. I don't see how that can punch through. He reckons it's 1.5 volts to actually crack water and its constituent parts but having said that maybe he's using some fancy gizmo or something ok I'm going to try it on the purple which is plus 3.8 amp, uh, volts at 14 amps and there we go and before I even throw the switch I'll tell you right now it's going to be a complete misnomer There you go. Well indeed that was because I had wired up wrong. Too many wires going about. So there we go. Throw the switch. And look how long that's taking. It's not even... If that was on the, the, the 12 volts this would all be just a mass, a cloud. So I don't know how he's perceiving that he's getting a better production and a lower voltage. But I would have presumed the less amps and slightly more voltage would be the one, because that's what works for me. When you're any electronic engineer or anything. Ok, I'm going to hook it back up to the, the 12 volts and 10 amps and let you see the complete and utter difference. You can see that, eh? I mean, it's... <laughs> ok, I've just isolated them back in because I won't use them. I mean, I didn't normally use them, it's just... That we're reading for that guy. So right here we go. I'm going to throw the switch, and you'll be able to see for yourself. You can hear it in the bubbler as well. I mean, what? A, that's a dynamic difference. And that's 12 volts, 10 amps. So. You 
can see it for yourself. You see how quick that's clouded up. Both bubblers are pumping away there in the unit. So I don't know what the guy's on about with this. Run the 10 amps and that's, that's about 11 volts. So anyway, there you go. Heavy concentration, putting it out of these two plates and these plates. I don't want to burn my unit out. I don't know the mix, I just threw tons of it in. You can see the concentration. Now that again, is me using 11 volts, 10 amps. Okay, I've just set it up there to run on 5 volts and 30 amps. You can see there's a stark difference there. I don't see how that can actually produce any more. You're not going to get so much heat because you're not producing so much. You can see that for yourself, there's a stark difference there. So that's 5 volts at 30 amps. It's even with a heavy concentration, and believe me that's a heavy concentration in there. I didn't see where you'd you be getting any benefit out of this at all, to be honest. But there again, I'm the electrical engineer, so there you go. Simple man's test, but fairly evident to me. Again, that's, I mean, if you want to get 3.5 volts and, and, you know, 5 volts Get yourself an ATX box. That will give you a variation of amps and volts, etc, etc. And just go check it out. Because, to be honest with you, the one that that guy's selling on eBay is £176. <laughs> and it's probably nothing more than the inside of an ATX box. You know, your, your card plate in there. Whip that out and you can put it in the car and just discard the the, the the 240 volts converter in here discard that plate, you know, the, the, the card and just keep the computer card with a 12 volt in it and you'll be able to get all these out of it like I say, normally I put these away to one side and just use the 12 volts just hook them straight up and onto here I discarded all these, I stopped using all the bits, pieces and it works fine for me. But anyway guys, that's what I kind of figure's going on there. There's probably not a lot. <laughs>